Hey, how's it going, people? So here we have Morning's End Part One, as promised. So here are the quest requirements. Unfortunately, I've already started this, but what you do need is Big Chompy Bird Hunting, Sheep Herder, and the Roving Elves quest complete. You also need 60 range, you can boost it unfortunately, 50 thieving and 56 agility which can be boosted. And to start it you'll need to talk to a lunid. So yeah, items needed. So here's what you need. You'll need a couple of Ardy tellies, a restore pot, an anti-poison pot, you'll need some munchies, an ogre bellows, soft leather, two toad crunchies, some feathers, a magic log, one bucket of water, 1.6k, two red dyes, two blues, two greens, two yellow dyes, one beer fur, two silk, you'll need between 6 and 20 coal, more would be better, but it, meh, and a method of teleport to Tavali and Rimidon would be handy to get around. I've got the game's necklace and my explorer ring for that. So yeah, the items you'll be needing for section 1 for this little first bit. You'll need a weapon, your munchies, your anti-poison pot, your restore pot, Ardy Tally 1.6k, your bucket of water, your beer fur, two silk, and your telly to Tavali. So basically, start off in Cathby or any port, and you want to catch a boat ride down to terrorist camp, and when you you want to head into the main terrace camp and inside you'll be needing to pick up two barrels that are just on the floor as we'll be needing to fill these with coal tar yay so once you go them head north you want to go through the dense forest Once you go through that, you want to head east. And just where the bears are, or slightly past them, is some more dense forest towards the south. You want to go through them. So you can see I just ran straight past it like. That's where you want to go. And now you want to pass the tripwire. Be careful, this can poison you. And you normally fail it anyway, so get ready for your anti-poison, take a dose of that. And as soon as you go from there, head east, and you'll hit some more dense forest. Jump through them, and you'll be in the hunter area. I want to say hunter area, the NPC, the hunter, the tracker. From him, you want to head south towards the swamp. And this is where you'll be using your barrels with the swamp to get the coal tar. You only actually need one, but in case you screw up or fail, or it explodes in your face for whatever given reason, you'll want to back up because you don't want to come all the way back here every time. So, once you've got them, backtrack it on yourself, and you want to go back through the dense forest. And back over the trip wires. Your anti poison should still be in effect. So if you do fail it, no worries. Then you want to be heading through the dense forest again. And this time, in the trees slightly to your west, there is another trap, I can't remember what it's called. And you basically want to just go through that where the little pond is and sit here and wait for a lunid. Eventually she'll pop up with a teammate and this is where you start the quest pretty much. Eventually, oh there we go. Although I've already started this, so I don't technically need to do it, she'll eventually teleport you to Leda if you agree to help her. 
you'll want to do it even if you don't plan on doing the quest anyway because there's a quick teleport to later and easy access to magic trees but once you're in later you'll be given your teleport crystal you want to head to the east and you want to talk to Arianwen and basically Arianwen will tell you that she wants you or he wants you to infiltrate the mourners and the mourners are actually elves so yeah now we need to get our mourners outfit easiest way to do that is tell to Adi and you wanna head up to the north bank or just north of the castle I should say if you haven't got the agility to use a shortcut over the river I'll just deposit some crap make some space jump over the river and you want to exit north here and then pretty much stay completely west and just keep going west for a long ass time you'll eventually come across some gnomes when you do head south here and use the back exit to the elfland and here we need to kill our mourner to get our mourner gear now when fighting the mourner you'll keep throwing pots at you which will keep your stats down to 20 your HP will go down to 200 there's no point using your restore pots or food yet as until they're dead your stats and stuff will just keep being knocked down if they don't pop up to you next to the gate head towards your west and they'll start walking down here and this is where you can poke them in the face so as you can see my health just dropped from max down to fuck all I'll eat some food and as you can see my health just doesn't move at all so all you need to do is finish him off once he's dead then you munch your food to get back to full life and I'll show you my stats just so you can see it everything is back onto 20 so you want to munch all your restore part depending on your level you may need a bit less but either way and then once your stats are all back up to normal pick up all the mourner gear that's the cloak, gloves, boots, body, legs and mask you also want to pick up the recommendation letter you don't need the glass or the bones but meh Either way, once you've got all that crap, head down to Leda, or Letia, whatever the hell you want to call it. And in the northwest corner, you want to be speaking to the clothes shop owner, or Enwin. And basically talk about repairing clothes. She'll take the bear fur and the two silks off you. When she's done that, you want to use the mourner trousers with it and she'll basically say come back in a minute and they'll be done and she literally means in a minute and she'll be done so stand around, do a little dance run around a circle, either way waste time for a minute eventually she'll have them done, wop ding now you need to head over to Tavali because now we need to sort out the top so whether you've got a Fally Telly or something like that to get down to Tavoli, either way. You'll be wanting to head to the lake where one of the monks is washing the robes. This boo boy here. And you'll basically ask him if you can borrow a soap, you'll say hell no. And screw you pretty much. What you want to be doing is checking the basket next to him and steal a soap. I'll teach you a prick. Use the soap on the mourner top and what doing? Everything is now clean and equipable. So chuck on all the mourner gear. You'll be wanting to wear this for the rest of the quest pretty much. And once you've done all that, head down to Adi. So once you're back in Adi, you'll be wanting to bank now to grab the rest of the stuff out of it. Because we'll be needing it now. So what you need now is 
all of your dies, all eight of them. Your anti teleport, a watchtower teleport would be handy for speed. Your feathers, two toe crunchies, the soft leather, the major log, ogre bellows, and your two barrels of coal tar. You'll also want the later teleport crystal, the letter of recommendation, and your morn right fit equipped. Now, you need to head to West Ardy and we'll be entering the Mourner's HQ. You can't be equipping anything other than the Mourner gear when you enter, otherwise they won't let you in. And if you equip anything else while you're in there, the Mourners will attack you. So, your weapon, or your necklace or ring, whichever you've got on you, take them off while you go in there. You can drop your bucket now anyway, give you a bit of extra space and the glass if you picked it up. You want to head down the trap door in here, and in the southeast room you want to talk to the head mourner. And you'll basically say, I've got some orders for you. He wants us to re-dye the sheep, because it's making the farmers think there's a plague. It's actually just people painting sheep and they've been using a gnome device to do it and they need you to fix the device by talking to the tortured gnome so talk to the gnome on the rack and go through his dialogue ask him if he'll fix it he'll say hell no you say how about I torture you he's like nah I've been there done that blah 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 and eventually he'll end up telling you his weaknesses. And you'll end up with a list. And the one you want to be picking is Toad Crunchies and Being Tickled. And once that's all finished, you want to be using the feathers on the gnome. And you'll still refuse to talk. So you want to use the feathers on the gnome again, only this time you'll also use a toad crunchy. And now he'll agree to fix it for you, and he'll tell you the stuff he needs. So talk to him while he's on the rack, and say you've got everything, and you'll basically say release me to fix the device. So release him, the guard in the room will say he can't actually leave the room, and then you want to talk to the gnome again. and you'll basically say you'll have to wait so wait around for 30 seconds or so and eventually you'll have the bazooka fixed and there you go bazooka for the win so now we need to get some ammo for this bad boy and to do that we need to head down to the watchtower and we'll be picking up some frogs down in Gutanath, Ogreland. So together from the watchtower, it's pretty much directly south of the watchtower. You want to head past the city, and down into where you did uh, Big Chomby Bird Hunting, and go ahead to one of the ponds. You want to be using the dye on your bellows and then your bellows on the frog and you'll dye the frog and blow it up at the same time. You want to be using all your dyes here so you don't have to come back later. Save some time. 
you actually only need one of each but if you miss when you're actually firing the bazooka then you'll have to come all the way back down here and get some more dies which is just pointless so once you've got them all you want to head back to Ardy and head towards the north bank and you want to take the exit literally in front of the north bank and there's some sheep here to use a bazooka you want to use the right coloured frog, in this case it's red on the bazooka itself then right click the bazooka and wield then you want to go to your attack style and click aim and fire and then spend about 20 minutes trying to find a sheep you think I'm joking Seriously. Where the fuck are the sheep? Oh. Where the fuck do you run off to? Hmm. Give me a little shit. Oh, come on. For fuck's sake. I'll have you in a minute, bud. Eat some of this, bitch. Headshot! So, once you've done that, you want to head north a bit, and you'll hit the green sheep. So, same deal, unequip your bazooka, then use a green toad on the bazooka, then re-equip the bazooka, change your attack style to aim and fire, and spend about 20 minutes trying to find a sheep. I've sped this up, so you don't have to watch it all over again. Oh, come on. Fucking sheep. Have it. So, you want to head up towards the fishing guild entrance, just north of there, and you've got the yellow sheep. And equip. Use the yellow toad. Equip. Aim and fire. find the ninja sheep. Excuse me, where the fuck are they? Oh! You little bastard. This is why I said two dies and pick up two toads shit like this does happen. Have it. So once you've done them, head all the way west and eventually you'll run across blue sheep. Same deal, use the blue toad on the bazooka, cut the bazooka, aim and fire. Find some sheep. Oh, have it. Get in there. Once you've done that, you can drop whatever spear toad you got. You don't need them anymore. And you want to head down to West Ardy. We'll be talking to the head mourner again. Ba -ba -da -ba. So here we are. Head Mourner, there he is, and he'll basically say he now wants us to poison 
the food supply of West Ardone and the poison he wants us to use is the same poison used on, I think it's Biohazard where you use the rotten apple on their food source so basically to do this bit you want to head out of the Mona Headquarter House and just northwest of it you'll find a rotten apple on the floor you'll be wanting to grab that once you've got your rotten apple you want to head back into East Ardone and we'll want to be talking to Eleanor which is just northwest of the pub right by here she's in the house next to the agility shortcut there you go and the conversation with her will pretty much recap all of the previous quests to do with this storyline so undergoing past biohazard and whatever the one before that was and you'll go through all of that crap which does take a fair amount of time so pretty much continue 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 Eventually, she'll agree to help you poison West Ardone, and she'll ask you for one of the rotten apples. So you give her a rotten apple, and she'll say, give me a minute, I'll work all this crap out. Literally, it's another one of those, le wait an actual minute. So, do a little dance. Really love, get down to night. Eventually talk to her and she'll say you only a shit ton of apples. And she can't do it. Cause she's lame. But she will give you a sieve. Yay. So once you've done that, head out north and then stay strictly to your west. And we'll be heading to the enclosed little forestry just next to the entrance to the Norm Str uh, Tree Norm Stronghold. Oh, we're good. Uh, the task for the win. And keep heading west, even. Through the little gate here. And you want to be picking up one of the empty barrels. Then use the empty barrel on the pile of rotten apples. Then use your apple barrel with the giant empty barrel. And yeah, take me out inside it. And you want to be picking up another empty barrel and using exactly the same way as you did before on the rotten apples and then the apple barrel on the giant empty barrel. And that will give you two barrels of apple mush. Or apple barrels, either way. Once you've got them, you'll now be wanting to head down to Rimington, but first we'll want a bank, so whichever way you want to go, I'll just be telling straight down to the carriage patch and then track into Drina. Oi, oi, oi. Miss Click of Doom. You don't need your toad crunchies anymore. So, from the bank, we will now need to get, 
are two apple barrels, you'll need the two coal tar. You'll also need the sieve on you, one tarnished key, uh, your Ardon teleports, and your coal ore. So you'll be needing six to twenty coal pieces, because this can be annoying as shit to do. Which is why I told you to get the two coal tar and the two apples. I got 17 coal on me, should be enough hopefully. And once you've got that, you want to head down to Remington. And we'll be needing to use the distillery, which is just to the west. And outside this building here, looks like a massive dildo. That's the one. You want to be using your coal tower on it, and then you bring up this screen. Basically, the idea here is if you keep the tag regulator on the right hand side all the way to the right, and then the pressure gauge on the left hand side, put it into the middle when the arrow hits the green, and in the meantime, keep adding coal, which will raise the pressure on the right hand side. The left should stay at a pretty much constant level. Because you can see there the right's now moving. If I add a bit of coal, it will go up. And then if you add too much, shit hits the fan. Boom! Coal tower is screwed. This is why I told you to bring two. Because that was an epic fail right there. So yeah, tag regulator, tag regulator keep it on the right and the pressure veil, uh, valve, once the arrow hits green, make sure it's up. And then keep an eye on the right hand dial and just add coal when it drops below green. So this time I'll show you how to do it. So keep that one on the right, add a bit of coal, and since it's green, push it up to the top. And then keep adding coal slowly till it hits the green bar, as you can see total distilled is going up slowly goes up a lot quicker when it's in the green this is why you brought all that coal along cha-ching, once the green bar is full it's fully distilled all you got to do is close that little window and you will get a barrel of naphtha And that's pretty much all we have to do for this distillery thing. Now, what you want to be doing is using the barrel of naphtha with one of your apple barrels. Which will give you a naphtha apple mix. Then you'll be going to use your sieve on the naphtha apple mix. And that will turn it into a toxic naphtha. Now we need to cook this. Make sure you do not do it on a fire, otherwise that shit will explode in your face. You have to use it on a range. Conveniently, though, there is a range in Remington, so may as well. As we you, use your toxic naphtha on the range, and that will give you dust, toxic powder. Happy days. So back to Ardy. And you want to go to West Ardy for this one. And now we need to poison the food stores in West Ardy. There's one in the church upstairs, and it's right next to the entrance to West Ardy, so may as well. So if you go in here, head upstairs, you'll see the bags of green. That's them right there. Use one of the toxic powders on the bag there. Doesn't matter which bag you use on, as long as you use on one of them. Then head downstairs. And now you want to go just north of you. 
And you've got the big estate house kind of thing. You'll see some more bags here in the western area. And plop your toxic powder into one of them. Happy days. Now you want to head back to the head mourner. Make sure you only got the mourner gear equipped. Back into the trap door. Southeast room. Hello, Dave. And you'll basically say, Good work, son. And come back later, as I should have the key for the door. And then you can start Mourner's M Part 2. So, all in all, not a hard quest, pretty quick. A lot of running back and forth. Worth it for the actual reward you get. Two quest points, 25k HP and 25k thieving XP. Pretty tidy quest. So yeah, that was my little guy from 1's M Part 1. 1's M Part 2. Well, if this gets enough likes, I might try and finish it by Monday. If not, it'll definitely be up next Friday. So yeah, hope you all enjoyed. Later.